Uganda ranks among countries in the African continent with the increasing numbers of unemployment among youth who are seeking employment outside Uganda. Unemployment among the youth can be reduced although it needs a partnership between government and stakeholders in technical colleges to change the mindset on technical courses. State Minister for Higher Education, Dr. Jesse Muyingo, has urged stakeholders in technical colleges to begin programs involving the elderly who can be trained in technical colleges. The amount of money we have been sending for capitation grants is not enough. I agree, it's not enough because the cost of living has gone up. But I've taken note of all these issues and I'm going back to cabinet to see to it that something has good comes out of this. The unfortunate thing is that we are right now, we have started the budgeting process. So these are things we can easily accommodate. I, well, and, uh, but um, I appeal to the parents, the children, the students, wherever you are, whatever the reason, please nothing to keep you out of school. Go to school, get the skill exercise skills, go to work, and then go to develop your country. He was commissioning 31 billion shillings teaching facilities of plumbing, carpentry and electrical workshops at Uganda Technical College, Kichwamba in Kabarole district. The function coincided with the 14th graduation ceremony for over 850 graduates. Minister Muyingo encouraged Ugandans to embrace the modernized technical colleges as centers of excellence. The State Minister for Culture, Peace Mutuzo, said changing the mindset on technical and vocational skills is vital and said despite being a minister, she has children trained in technical colleges and encouraged others to emulate her. That uh, the courses offered here are not necessarily for failures, neither are they for poor things. I am a minister, my son has come as he is here, has, has completed a, a diploma in civil engineering, because from senior three we agreed he's going to be civil engineering. When he missed it in Makere and other universities by 0 0.4, was enough to bring him right here to begin with the diploma. Secondly, we need more technicians now. And technicians can really be technicians when they are doing civil works, like welding. So many times we spend money into universities and when somebody completes, cannot do something even very small on a building until he has technicians behind him. So let's begin small. The chairperson of the governing council, Richard Rwabuhinga, said the 31 billion teaching facility at the college would benefit many, although there is need for more funding to enable the college acquire facilities to accommodate the girl child. As a country, we suffer from three major challenges. We have a skills mismatch, a skills deficit, and finally a skills crisis. Most of the students that leave the gates of universities take a year, two, three, four without getting any formal employment because the skills they have acquired are not rhyming with what the job market requires out there. But with this now, competence-based training Recibit policy, it is answering that a gap whereby the students who leave the gates of UT6 Chamber, they go out to create jobs, not to seek for jobs.